In the top 10 of world ports, eight ports are Chinese. Rotterdam is the only world port outside Asia. It ranks number five with a throughput of 450 million metric tons. The port is the gateway to the European market of more than 350 million customers. Its economic significance is huge with an annual turnover of 600 million euros and direct employment for 87,000 people. The port stretches over 40 kilometers with a total land and water surface area of over 12 and a half thousand hectares. For such a huge port, excellent accessibility by sea and excellent hinterland connections are crucial. The Rotterdam port can only function as a global freight hub thanks to its extensive connections with the European hinterland by road, railroad and inland waterways. Through pipelines for fuels and petrochemical feedstocks, the Rotterdam port is directly interconnected with industrial complexes in Germany, Belgium and northern France. The port is, in other words, a hub in a multimodal network of transportation infrastructures. How is the Rotterdam port securing its position for the future? After all, the European population is aging and the markets are mature, in contrast with the ongoing expansion of markets in China and other parts of Asia. It is interesting to review some of Rotterdam's strategies. First of all, they are teaming up with the port of Antwerp, which used to be a major competitor. By sharing resources and coordinating activities, they enable their industrial partners to enjoy cluster advantages and economies of scale. They are together basically creating one single industrial cluster across national borders. The port is just one segment in a huge logistic chain in which many different actors play a role, such as shipping companies, terminal operators, transporters, shippers. If all these actors know which container is where at which time and where it needs to be sent to, then this prevents hold-ups and unnecessary empty transports. By synchronizing sailing times to the occupancy of berths, fuel can be saved and carbon emissions reduced. The Port of Rotterdam develops smart IT systems that are needed to support the necessary coordination between the actors in the logistic chain. Furthermore, Rotterdam distributes part of its transshipping activities to inland harbours, therewith relieving spatial pressure on the Rotterdam port and reducing congestion on its hinterland connections. Rotterdam is, in fact, developing a comprehensive network of intermodal inland hubs so that cargo can be transported faster and more efficiently. To utilize the available infrastructure capacity more efficiently, Rotterdam seeks to accomplish proactive traffic management for all modes of transport. In practice, this implies that they set up traffic management organizations for road and rail transport and for inland shipping. Since road congestion is one of their main concerns, they are advocating road pricing to achieve a better spread of road usage in time. At the same time, the Port of Rotterdam knows that it must ensure the livability of the port area and the wider city. It has to reduce noise hindrance and air pollution while pursuing economic growth at the same time. Besides reducing congestion, they are actively working on the use of cleaner trucks electric trains and cleaner ships to further reduce the emission levels of freight transport. They are an active partner in the Rotterdam Climate City programme. They promote wind energy in the port area and also engage in carbon capture and storage programmes. They seek to attract more bio-based fuels and raw materials for the future to supply the future bio-based industrial complex with its raw material supplies. In the latest port expansion project, they engaged with nature conservation and environmental NGOs. As a result, 
The new port area is constructed in a nature-friendly way, with a vast sandy coastline, which is open for recreation and with an extensive nature conservation area, both on land and in the sea, where ecological quality is consistently monitored. Together with the Port of Antwerp, the Port of Rotterdam is proposing very strict emission standards on newly built vessels to be implemented by the International Maritime Organization. For the North Sea and the English Channel, they want to see a reduction of nitrogen oxide emission levels with 80% for new vessels by January 2016 in order to improve air quality. The port of Rotterdam is a fascinating place where you can not only find many examples of technological innovation but also creative, innovative approaches to building partnerships and multi-actor coalitions. Ensuring a more efficient more reliable and more sustainable port in the future requires the port authorities to reconsider the borders of the port system and to innovate the system both in the technical and in the social dimension.